Welcome to Bunny Hollow Designs. We're going to have a little fun today with vinyl and a little dog treat. So enjoy the video and if you have any questions, let me know. Here we are going to make a food bowl for my daughter's dogs. They're coming down for their honeymoon and so I'm going to leave them a surprise. So I'm using my Cricut and this is Design Space and I just typed in Ray. I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit and um, you know, for size, et cetera, and uh, pick a font and all that good stuff. Um, what I wanted to do was layer these. And what I finally did, which I don't get videoed because um, I didn't do it right, but what I would tell you to do is just print it out um, or cut it out. This is Ray, and I'm going to also do Rosie. Um, and I wish I had just cut them once as Ray and Rosie and then made it a little bigger and cut it again as Ray and Rosie. And just layered one over the other. Instead, I tried to fiddle with it and, and do it on top of, you know, on design space. And it would have just been easier just to just cut this out, save the file, make it a hair bigger, you know, group them and make it a hair bigger and, and cut it out again in a different color. That would have worked probably a lot less uh, troublesome for me. But anyway, I'll try to get in some footage of um, actually applying it to the water bowl or food bowl. But they turned out pretty cute in the end. Here, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to send it over and say make it. And uh, it had a little trouble connecting with my um, maker, but it's been a while since I've been here. so. <laughs> but it did finally cut out. Here is Ray, all cut out in green. My daughter is a real plant person. She has a very green thumb. So I figured she would appreciate this being in neutral, you know, plant-based colors rather than blue for Ray and pink for Rosie. So that's how I chose these. Um, found this really cute love with the O as a paw print. Thought she'd like that. I think I ended up just using it once though. Alrighty, I can see. Um, I'm fast forwarding this. This is Rosie and this is how I'm layering. This is why I wish I'd cut them out just the same size or a little bit bigger and just offset them a little bit. I could not really figure that out in um, design space, but I haven't used it in a while, and now I'm using the Mac, and um, so it was a little more difficult, but this is working out pretty well. And I just decided on the gold for Rosie because, you know, as I said, neutral colors. So it's hard to see a little bit, but I'm just kind of dry fitting it over top of the letter, and just kind of sitting the colored off to the right just a little bit so the little black outline shows to the left. Uh, kind of if you were just hand lettering. Oh boy, look at me go. <laughs> okay, this this is the, look at me. See, I left that in. It was so fast you missed it. But just proved myself dyslexia comes from me. I was trying to get the, the letter off of the tape instead of the tape to the letter. I did backwards, backwards. Okay. Never knew that as a child though, but hey, I can tell it when I do things now. It's strange how this this happens. Alrighty, we're already to the eye. Just rub it down good, as you can see, and just keep layering. This was really fun to make. Okay, here we are. I'm just, I worked on a, a, something to put on the water bowl, and it just says drink up pups. So that is cutting out, and then I will um, weed it and put it on the uh, tape. And this one was pretty easy. It's just one straight line. So I pulled it off of the mat, and then I'm just going to take my scissors, and it was really hard to see on the black, but just cut away. You don't need to waste the whole piece of vinyl, you know. Just just cut so you can't even see it. It was very hard to cut off of there. But I found it, and yeah. So I also went back in, and I found some hearts on Design Space images and I just put my green and my gold back in and cut the hearts and then I had three of each color to play with which was more than I needed ended up just using two but you never know and it was easy it came as a set of three just to cut out so I did it that way so here I am trying to I'm just weeding I thought I was fiddling with it again backwards <laughs> no just weeding the middles out I used to do this the hard way with a little pick and down on the table, but it's easy to just bend it and peel it right up. Just stick it on your hand. And it all comes off, and then just peel it off. Just go slow. It's 
sometimes it's not ready. If you if you lay it on the table, sometimes it's easier if you pull it against a flat surface, but I didn't have any trouble here. I think maybe the exclamation mark tried to come up, but eh, pushed him back down. All right, so drink up, pups. All right. Now I'm trying to uh, just see where to position it on the water bottle. I had these little one inch or one and a half inch little measures and I had a little indentation, so I couldn't put it in the middle and couldn't make it any bigger. So finally figured that out. And then I'm gonna fiddle with some um, of the transfer tape, trying to get that off, <laughs> off of there. <laughs> but it goes pretty smoothly. Just remove the tape and put it over top of your, uh, your vinyl and cut don't waste your your transfer tape i had a bigger piece than i needed so that's just the way i did it and then just burnish it down really good this i haven't done this in quite a while and took a minute to get back in the swing of things but it's, it's really pretty easy i think i was making it too hard on myself the first go around so that's that's a note to you newbies don't make it harder than it needs to be <laughs> it really doesn't need to be Okay, so I'm going to peel it back, get the letters on the tape, Becky, not the other way around. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, and it just kind of landed. I don't know if it's going to be on view very well, but it's kind of landed in the right spot. And I decided, you know what? Just put it down. So just push it down really good with your finger. You could take your little... Um, Cricket little blade thingy thingy and use, but this was easy enough, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I hate that I'm kind of out of focus. I had you a little too close, but I'm just peeling the tape back and just go gently and go straight against the bottle. Don't try to pull up, pull against the bottle. That'll help you. See how the peed tried to come and you just, there I realize. Okay. So we just peel against the bottle and this may be where my uh, exclamation point came up I don't know but I just keep just keep pushing it down and uh, it's it's really not that hard it's really not just just fool with it a little bit all right it, it did turn out really cute I wish I had was better at design space I'm certainly no expert but hey just fiddle with it and if I can ever help you guys with any questions, I'm happy to. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go find my little hearts that I printed off, and um, we will get those put on there too. Of course, I printed nothing. I don't know why I say things like that. I cut them out of the gold vinyl. And they came in a group of three, and so I just kept them all because I didn't know what size I would want or how many I would want or any of that stuff. So I also cut them out of green. So I'm pulling that off now and uh, gonna cut this, I think. There was extra, you always save it, just like you do your paper scraps. You never know when you're gonna need just a little piece of something. So these were very easy to peel off because it was a big solid image, so a no-brainer there. And uh, I am gonna get a piece of the transfer tape and I'm going to pick up, let's see, I think, yeah, put, clean up the maker. Pack that away for the day. There's my dies getting ready for the baby album again. This is a very small table to work on. And a, kind of a big little bottle there for, for the pups to drink out of. But I realized and backed you off a little bit so you could see. Okay, all I'm going to do is pick up the middle gold heart and it's gonna find its home. And then I'm gonna to think too much on the green heart and shut the video down while I'm thinking. And then of course, when I put it down, I forgot to turn the video back on. So <laughs> that's kind of the way it goes. But in the end, I only used two and you'll see that in the still pictures that'll, that are to come. So that one just kind of found a home. And then I picked up the smallest of the green ones and that's where I thought, hmm, I need to think about this. So. It was a really fun project to work on, and I'm happy to be done with it. <laughs> yeah, here's where I think too much. Okay, there is the finished product. 
Two hearts is all it needs for the two pups. So yay. Alrighty, thank you for joining me. And as always, any comments are welcome. Have a great day.